Hello everybody. So today's video we're going to focus on the Ford Fusion because I think we got the Subaru Ascent out of the way. And now we need to focus on some maintenance. Uh, I own this car at this point around 10 and a half months. I can honestly tell you it's been a pretty stress-free, maintenance-free worry-free repair-free experience and all I've done was I <laughs> put gas in it every once in a while and I think I replaced well I replaced the filters I also replaced the windshield wipers and I think they're actually coming to a uh, to a, to an end now so uh, probably before the winter I'll replace these things too uh, these were kind of weird because uh, these were advertised these rain X that they are treated with the the rain repellent stuff the, the problem with these is that um the, as they start to wear down uh they leave like smudges but not like your typical smudges they leave the smudges of this rain x material which i find kind of weird i mean they kind of it kind of goes away after a little bit but at the same time it's it's kind of weird so i don't know if i'm ever gonna buy like this style uh, or this type of wiper. I mean the style I have to you know get the ones that that click into place like these do All right, so there's that so the maintenance that we're gonna try to accomplish is new tires uh, And an oil change so it's due for my first oil change the um, the interval It's like five and a half thousand miles, which I have not put on yet, but basically so these tires these Michelin's uh, That came with the car. I'm pretty sure they're original because of the date code. I don't know if you guys can see that uh, they are from what looks like 2018, although my car is a uh, 2020. Uh, you know what? I wonder when when is my car manufactured? Let's see. Oh, okay. So it is December of 2019, right here. So the tires. So the tires that I got here. Let's see. Where is the date stamp on this one? Yeah. So they are. So they're from 2018. From what I understand, uh, according to I guess the, uh, the day code. So these are Michelin. I don't know Green X Energy Saver AS um, tires. And when I got the car, the so basically I did not do anything with the tires uh, exactly how I got them. So I'm, once again, I'm pretty sure they're original. Uh, the back is still has some tread life left but they're pretty cracked and and, it, and it's weird because looking at, at like this tire this tire looks pretty good like at first i considered uh maybe even getting this uh you know these swapped right like the rear to the front and the front to the rear to get a little bit more life on it but like the front ones i don't think they were ever rotated uh, keep in mind uh if you guys remember if you're following this uh, i bought this car from from my work right from my employer basically a salesperson used to drive this car and obviously a company car it was purchased with like 2,000 miles so pretty new um, yeah I don't think the tires were ever rotated and you know that side the other side it, it's like looking at the tire it's pretty good but looking at this side like look at all the cracks like I don't know is this like the sunny side or something I mean they're made in the USA uh, but look, look, it's kind of getting getting down there. I mean, look, the wear bar is pretty close at this point on the front. And, like, even if I wanted to, like, consider swapping them for the ones in the rear. The rear ones, like, this one is, pretty, is relatively good. But look at all the dry cracking that's happening here. So, yeah, I, I after thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? My life is kind of not, not um, you know, no, shouldn't be at risk. So, I should probably get these things replaced so i started looking you know online keep in mind the last vehicle that we replaced the tires on is that subaru forester like three years ago those were some expensive tires so i started looking looking and i'll be honest with you i don't trust the place that uh that's nearby it's basically on the other side of this park it's called mavis tire and battery i think they used to be known as ntb national tire and battery so either somebody bought them out or whatever yeah, I don't trust that place because every time, so I replaced tires there on the Forester like three years ago. I don't really trust them because every time I would go there with the Forester, whenever, um, uh, whenever it was like the car was pretty new, they would still, they would like find stuff. 
that's wrong with it. And some of it was bogus. So I don't trust it. So I started looking at Walmart. Uh, there's a pretty, you know, there's like a super Walmart uh, not too far away from me. And uh, I found these specific tires. There's Michelin, uh, whatever they're, Savers. God. Look, this one, you don't, you don't even see the name here. That's a weird one. Oh, Energy, Energy, whatever. Saver, Star, whatever. Uh, these are expensive as hell. <laughs> I'll post it on the screen. I mean, I took a screenshot and I was like, no freaking way. Yeah, I'm not going for these tires. I mean, I understand that they're probably unique to the, you know, like to like the, the hybrid version. And I might get worse gas mileage if I go with another tire. But I'm not going for these tires. Like 1100 bucks to pay for tires, just, just too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find uh, different tires for it. And I already contacted my mechanic that I used to go to. God, where's the button? There it is. Uh, and I'm going to have him uh, give me some, some pricing and I'll probably just replace it. And that's going to be, you know, for tomorrow, I'm going to step by there. I also wanted to check this. So, and I'm probably, I mean, I, I don't know who thought it was a good idea to stuff a battery in the trunk. But also... How the heck do you replace this thing? Now, okay, so there's something here, some sort of a strap. Sorry, I'm blocking the camera. Uh, all right, I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure that this is also an original battery, yeah, Ford Motor Company. But how do I, how do I get in there? I want to ask them, probably. I mean, there's just got to be a way. I mean, unless it's going to fit through here just through this opening but this opening is pretty narrow so i need to ask him how do i replace it you know if, if needed i mean maybe i don't need to and I, I and i probably don't because i mean the car starts uh you know in battery mode it doesn't all right i'm gonna need two hands for this <laughs> and also i'm gonna need an oil change so but that's gonna be a video for uh for tomorrow so i know for you guys it's gonna be instant but when i go there him there tomorrow i'm gonna ask him Plus, I'm going to get my first oil change. So, all right, uh, I'm going to start talk, stop talking and see where, where we go from there. All right, guys, I'm here at the 3C Automotive. It's been a while since I came here with one of, one of my own cars. Actually, the last time I was here uh, was when I still had the town car. Uh, so I'm just waiting for him to get the other car out and put my car in. But <laughs> this place is interesting. You see, they're exploring other options. So I've got this Freightliner paramedics van. It doesn't look... Well, I mean, it's kind of like an ambulance, I guess. But it's for a uh, some sort of a Mary Greeley Medical Center. Not 100% sure what's going on here. It is locked. I mean, I would love to go inside, but... It is locked, and <laughs> I guess we could kind of explore it through the glass. Although, yeah, you know what, maybe I'll go on the other side. I love these, uh, the little horns and stuff, and the emergency lights, real nice. Let's see, is there maybe going to be a less glare here? Yeah, a little less glare. Looks like the middle center is kind of ripped out, and, and the middle of it actually looks like, like the dash, it looks like a sprinter van, basically. Uh, you got the little pass-through in the back to the, you know, I mean, to the back section. See, is this one locked? Yeah, it's locked. So that's kind of interesting. No smoking. <laughs> Buckle up. And all the, all the controls are in the middle, although the middle stuff kind of got ripped, ripped out of there. But, oh yeah, it's even got the Mercedes. A uh, little symbol there. That's interesting. Here we are. We have a, the oil is draining. So we got, what do we got? And guys, keep in mind, I don't know much about the individual components, but uh, just <laughs> the general stuff. But I also remember the car wizard making a much more detailed video about this hybrid stuff, so kind of interesting just to see the the under stuff but looks like no rust so that's a good thing my, my tires are being worked on over there so oh, looks looks pretty good I guess that's where probably the batteries are somewhere down there I like how everything is covered like you know with this I mean it's a little fuzzy material but 
still better covered than not. All right, look, looks good. Got the little drainage here, and we got this little skirt. That's nice. Got the filter there and everything else. So yeah. I mean, it's a far cry from the town car. <laughs> it's just, you had rust like going down the side, like everywhere. Oh, it's a little, a little bit, but you know, nothing too bad. All right, well, nice to see it. So while I wait, he uh, took it for a test drive to get all the uh, T TPMS uh, sensors uh, zeroed in. Uh, so I noticed that there's 740 IL back here. And I started looking at it, looking at it, and I'm like, man, look at this. Look at that phone right there in the middle. That is some classic stuff right there. I mean, the whole car is actually pretty clean, although I noticed that it's got the sunroof a little open. Uh, I mean, it is really nice and clean. You probably guys can't see that through the reflection. It looks like it's open, but I'm afraid of setting off the alarm, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, the phone. Oh, the wood, man. It's got all the, <laughs> it's got the navigation system. I'm gonna try and squeeze through here. I mean, I love, you know, the older style BMWs. That is some, some good stuff. The newer stuff, mm, not so much the fuzzy well they're not really fuzzy dice they're they're semi fuzzy dice oh, crap but overall like I could smell this car <laughs> I know how it smells inside I've been ton of these things and look the rear leg room it's kind of nice I don't know if I can get it from the other side but like here's another there's a 328 whatever I nah. Nah, what about here can I get some some nice footage through the glass here, through all the dust. Oh yeah, look at that, the wood shifter, everything. All right, I think my car's back. All righty, folks, here we go. The tire pressure sensors got reset. We got everything good. We got a synthetic oil change done. We got four sets, well, four sets, four, <laughs> four, uh, four new tires. So let's look at these tires. They are Advanta. I don't know, ER800. Okay, well, the size is the same. Uh, I don't know what brand Adventa is, but basically these are the same brand of tires that we put on our work vans. <laughs> so I kinda, I've seen these before, I have no idea who makes it. <laughs> Where are these things they even made? Um, radial, tubeless, made in Cambodia wow these these came a long way <laughs> all right let's look well I mean they are nice they're a really thick thread they are not dry rotted they I mean I haven't driven it yet so I don't know how they how they feel if if I feel anything but made in Cambodia that is interesting Argus. They are Argus Advanta ER800 tires. So I'm gonna check and see uh, how much would they be like if I try to buy them myself. Like through, let's say, Walmart or something. They got 44,656 miles. We got my new sticker, my first official sticker. Uh, 49, okay, so it said about the uh, 500 I mean I'm sorry about 5,000 miles well here is my receipt I fold it so my name doesn't sh I mean my address doesn't show so it's a synthetic oil change and install four new tires 550 bucks uh, I'm not sure why it says negative 30 balance due <laughs> I did not get paid oh I got gotcha. you yeah it's 580 then he kind of gave me uh, for 550 Got it. So okay. So five, so basically, the out the door price is right here. It's five fifty. He doesn't give me like itemized, but basically, yeah, he did a synthetic oil change and installed four new tires. All right, guys. Well, let's get us going.
it's a hot one today Ugh. so let's see I'm gonna first of all oh let's get the air a little bit turned down uh, let's see there's so, so yeah so here so this is gonna be interesting whether or not I'm gonna see a drop in my MPGs because you know those tires I'm assuming they were special some sort of energy whatever saver whatever whatever for hybrid so 48.6 I'm gonna it's one I wonder what's gonna happen there settings how do I change my oil thing Wait, do I, hold on a sec, I'm confused. I haven't done this in a while, information, no. How do, how do I reset this? All right, here's my, my 40 PSIs. To be honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> I am, I'm a little confused. This, oh, here, vehicle, duh. Locks, oil life reset. I right, oh he must have reset it, but okay, I'm gonna reset it right now. Boop. Hold okay. All right, so we're back to 100%. We are back to whatever I was gonna do. I think it's this display right here. All right, and we're gonna try driving it. We're gonna check and see. Do we see any kind of difference in the performance and the way that it goes? Let's see. Well, guys, I'm on the highway. The car is behaving very nicely. Uh, it's not any more loud than it was before. Uh, it, it dropped 0.1 of an MPG, but that's because probably I hit the gas to get on the highway and kind of accelerated, so. Yeah, I really have no complaints. Uh, it's, again, I, I never had these type of tires on my car before, but at the same time, like I said, we we put these on our vans. So the fact that they're not uh, Michelin or Goodyear or Firestone, whatever those are, I mean, look, it's a piece of rubber. Uh, it's a 50,000 mile rubber from what I understand. So uh, hopefully by the time this thing is about to be ready to hit 100,000 miles, Obviously, I will have to rotate these things because in the last time, the last one, uh, yeah, those tires were never rotated. And I don't know why, but you know, because when it's not your own, you don't really care about it. And had the previous driver of this car been driving it, you know, he would have had just new tires put on, which part of me wants to tell him, like, dude, if you knew you were going to be leaving the company, you could have told me <laughs> in advance I would have replaced the tire on the owner's dime instead of my own. But, hey, you know, I guess I got a pretty good deal on it. So, okay. So, there you go. There you have it. We're driving some weird off-brand off tires. Uh, so far, so good. Not seeing anything drastic, but I will keep an eye on it, right? Like, I, I am curious because, you know, there's a reason why they were those tires were chosen specifically for for the hybrid I'm, i would assume but in general thing is good yeah so far it's been a uh, car you know it's been a pleasure to drive and own this car it's uh behaves well serves me well uh, so again I, I made it well in november it will be a year since i got this car and i said goodbye to the town car which so again i do miss it every once in a while but i don't miss the repairs i don't miss uh, you know, needing some time off and getting a rental car and dropping it off and, you know, the money aside, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't miss that. And I understand it's my own car that I had problems with. The town cars are very, you know, sturdy and people swear by them that they're the most reliable, blah, blah, blah. Well, in my case, it wasn't. I mean, I loved it for what it was, which <laughs> required a lot of repairs. But And, you know, oh, the one thing that I wanted to mention while we're on the subject of this car. I love the fact that this car still has physical buttons. And the reason why I love it is because I noticed every time that there's an option between a physical button and the screen, like for example, you know, this climate control, I use the physical buttons all the time. Like I forget the fact that it's a screen, that it has the, du the duplicate controls there. Also, like for the phone, I use these buttons way more than I use the stuff that's on the screen, like to dial somebody's 
uh, number or to redial or, or whatnot, only because, like, yeah, like this is this is good. Like, yes, it works. Obviously, your phone is a screen, so it's only natural that this is going to be a screen. But if there's an option uh, to use the physical buttons, I will use the physical buttons all the time. Plus, this car, it has like most most of the modern features like this lane keep assist right there like the blind spot monitor right there in the in the mirror like the smart cruise control but here it's done right like it's not overwhelming like it's uh like it works and also i can turn it off and i don't have stupid lights and and what i'm talking about right now is you know comparing this to the Subaru Ascent that we just recently purchased, right? This is a 2020, not the most fully loaded, but guess what? The Subaru Ascent is also not the most loaded. And the Subaru Ascent does it wrong, way too overpowering. But this, like you can turn it off, you can turn it on, it works fine. It doesn't have that crazy self-steer assist, but you know what? Based on me using it in the Subaru, I would not want to use it. Uh, if it's a, if it's calibrated the same way, because to me it's kind of dangerous. But here, you know, I, it's it just works. In the Subaru, it's got too many beeps, too many lights. If you shut it off, like here, like I like here, here this thing is on. Oh whoa, sorry. <laughs> Great, it's on, right? It's doing its thing. The smart cruise control is on, like it is now. It just works. And we're driving on battery juice right now. But that's it. Like, it's got that pre-collision warning thing. You see those little lights there? And you know what? The one thing that every once in a blue moon, it does trigger. And it kind of gives me a mini heart attack. Because it will just start beeping like crazy. Because it thinks that I'm about to hit someone's front. In particular, it happens when somebody is turning in front. But, you know, like me as a human being, I can identify the fact that I'm not going to hit that car. But this thing thinks that because you're not braking, you're gonna hit it. So that every once in a while that goes off. But once again, yes, they wanna be extra cautious and all that stuff. But uh, in this car, I can, it doesn't overwhelm the senses, so to speak. Uh, in the Subaru, it, it kinda does. And especially my pet peeve is, if I turn this thing off, it's just off. Like, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, the car is not trying to punish you for turning it off. Like traction control, okay, I can understand. But when when it tells you that you can turn off the, the lane keep assist thing, and otherwise it's going to give you a, a yellow warning light, like, come on, man. Like here, you know, it's just, things just seem to be just working okay without any kind of overwhelming thing. And yeah, I think... I thank my lucky stars for that because I don't know driving the um, the ascent every day. I mean, I probably get used to it, but I don't. I don't want to. Like, I should be able to have control over my own safety thing. If I don't want it, I don't want it. So anyway, so that's my two cents here. So, in any case, guys, uh, a little refresher course here on the fusion, and I'll keep you posted if anything changes, if anything breaks. Uh, but hopefully, I, I mean, I am planning to keep this Fusion for, for many, you know, many more years. I have have no aspiration to change it unless, obviously, something changes in my life or in the car's life. I mean, I enjoy it. It's a sedan. I still see plenty of them on the roads. And I think if Ford just kept making them, they could have made them for probably two or three more years. No problems. Because it's got pretty good tech. Like, it's got the nav system. It's got all this, the basic stuff. And this is not even the fully loaded one. So, I don't know. I'm still a kind of a sedan person, even though the other part of uh, my family is all about crossovers and SUVs and all that. So, all right, everybody. See ya.